Before connecting your Xfinity camera to a new Wi-Fi network, ensure you have the latest version of the appropriate app installed on your mobile device. First, remove the camera from your old Wi-Fi network. Open your Xfinity app, navigate to the Security tab, locate your camera, and delete it from the current network. Next, add the camera to your new Wi-Fi network. In the Xfinity app, go to the Account tab and select Activate Xfinity Camera. For Xfinity Home App users, select More, then Add a Device, then Xfinity Camera. Allow Bluetooth and location permissions when prompted. These are required for the camera setup process. Then connect your camera to power using the provided adapter. Hold your phone near the camera's power adapter and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the pairing process. The app will guide you through connecting to your new Wi-Fi network. Once paired, name your camera's location, such as front door or backyard. You can also enable 24-7 video recording if desired. Your camera is now connected to the new Wi-Fi network. Important note about Wi-Fi compatibility. Newer Xfinity camera models work with both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks. However, older camera models may perform better when connected to the 2.4 GHz band for improved range and stability. When your Xfinity camera won't connect to Wi-Fi, start with these basic troubleshooting steps. First, ensure your camera is within 100 feet of your router for optimal signal strength. Your network also needs sufficient bandwidth. Ensure you have at least 3 megabits per second download speed and 2 megabits per second upload speed for reliable video streaming. If connection issues persist, try power cycling both devices. Unplug your camera and router for 30 seconds, then plug them back in. This simple step resolves many connectivity problems. Check your camera's LED status light for troubleshooting clues. Different colors indicate different connection states and can help identify the specific problem. For persistent connection problems, you may need to perform a factory reset. However, be extremely cautious with video doorbells. Holding the reset button for more than 10 seconds may damage the device and require a technician to repair it. If you're not using Xfinity Internet Service, you can still use your camera with alternative connection methods. Connect the camera directly to your router using an Ethernet cable. To find your camera's IP address, access your router's DHCP client list. This shows all connected devices and their assigned IP addresses. Look for your camera in this list. For monitoring your camera footage without Xfinity service, use third-party software like iSpy. This free software provides comprehensive video surveillance capabilities and works with most IP cameras. Blue Iris is another excellent option for professional video surveillance. It offers advanced features like timeline playback, multiple camera management, and comprehensive recording options. If you've tried all troubleshooting steps and alternative methods without success, contact Xfinity Support for professional assistance. They can provide device-specific guidance and technical support.